surely the correct decision to rule out Chilwell's equaliser for offside at Wembley on Saturday that was the moment at the weekend that proves why VAR technology is brilliant and here to stay <laughs> and it has to be so what, so you've what, been clobbering so, VAR so what we're saying it? is if VAR wasn't there the linesman might not have put his flag up for offside is that what we're saying well, the drama of it as well. The drama of it as well. How often it was do you an get those incredible mo- How scene. often do you get those moments? Chelsea celebrating, then hang on, not so fast. And the players accepted the decision because they had to. Well, they had to. What else could they have done? You've got to accept the decision. But you've been calling it, it for it to be scrapped. It should be scrapped. And How should that, it be scrapped? If it was scrapped, we wouldn't have it that moment. And the moment that we saw on Saturday was the right well, moment. Everybody, and Leicester won the cup. Everybody's wrong and you're right then. No, VAR Have got you it been right. listening to all the managers? You're wrong. Who is? Me? You, yeah, what, for having an you, opinion? You, I'm, I'm sitting yeah. looking at you, but, you, but you who know, else do you, I mean? You, I know what you're going to say, Dan. You've listed all the managers. But the reasons why VAR is here because the managers did I know, nothing we've been through that. We're recycling the same years. argument. But VAR is staying and it should stay and it should be adapted to meet the purpose. That's your for, opinion. But ultimately, Denny, what we want to do is get rid of mistakes in the game. Yeah. As a professional footballer, I'm sure you don't appreciate jumpers for goalposts and saying, oh, well, that was a bad decision, but that cost us that game. But you know what? It all evens out in the end. You want officials to be good at their jobs. You want the technology to not to interrupt the game and to break it down and make it pedestrian. Mm. But you want an outcome which is guaranteed to be right as and much it, as you possibly can. And that sounds see, on it, Danny. It the, was right and it was swiftly decided. OK, it, that particular offside decision should have been... It wasn't a millimetre. It was... A bit bigger than that. It wasn't real. We've seen tighter, haven't we? Right? We we've, have. we've seen tighter. Mm-hmm. So you would expect and the your majority. Point is? Well, if you let me talk, I might get there. Oh, so come on then. You're in the dark. If, Go for it. If you look over the years of the linesman's decisions on offsides, the percentages were very, very high anyway. So what you're saying is now is that the linesman wouldn't have got that right. You, you, you're not. You, we could have got that right. I am saying. I am saying now. Should you not concede that VAR? Proved itself on Saturday. No, you're making it binary, though, Jim. Because you, you've also sat on the other side of this argument saying VAR should be off because of the ridiculous decisions it's made. What Danny I've never, saying? No, I, I have, have never we, said we, we, that. We've sat, I've stood by VAR. We've sat here. No, come on, Jim. We've sat here. I'm not like you. Michael we, Richardson can't have a go at me we've sat for here. jumping on and, and, and off we, the fence. We've sat here, and specifically you have run with a hair and hunt with a hounds on this subject Nonsense. matter because Nonsense. it's been something that's been... It depends upon the currency. Right now, the currency of the FA Cup final, game back live, around the world, everyone watching it, Leicester Story got it right. If it had been gotten wrong, you'd be sitting there banging the drum saying, wasn't. doesn't this prove the case so that VAR should off be taken that? off? That's a ridiculous argument. Why no, are you going not. off in that? See, my my no, point for us is supporting his argument. For when it gets it right. But we do, Jim. We do. But the point is... is so, Danny, we do, we, we, salute it. VAR got it right. Yep. Of course it did. But we can get those decisions right anyway. We've proven that as referees assistants. Because they're percent- But VAR's got it right every time, Dan. It's got it right, but it's by millimetres and people don't like it. So the argument is, is that VAR, VAR gets it right most of the time. But by, okay. by, by definition, the people don't like the rule application. They don't like the fact that there's a particular symmetry between Stockley Park and the referee. They don't mm. like the def- deference to Stockley Park rather than the referee making but decisions on the pitch. But, but, but can I just it? say, we're talking about so we're talking about offside, right? VAR, yes, as, a, yes. as an umbrella, but then we're talking about offside. Yeah. My biggest thing with the offside thing, irrelevant in the cup final, yeah. because we've seen so many goals not given on, on millimetres because of offsides. My thing is always the same. If you let the linesmen make the decisions, they will get the odd one wrong, right? But we'll see more goals. We won't have that Dan, horrendous de- delay for supporters and players. Saturday, did you see the? Saturday did you see Antonio's right. interview but, for Sky? Say again. When did you see Antonio's interview for Sky with the West Ham forward? Antonio's interview. Yeah, yeah Michael Antonio, he's going off on a tangent. About, did you see what he said? I don't quite know why we've gone in this. Well, I'll tell you why. But... Because he said he doesn't celebrate goals now. All right. Right? Right. And I tell you what, Jim, we were on this show when the guy and his son phoned up. We what went did you to... make of the drama at Wembley on Saturday? Well, if that goal when was... When that right if decision the referee was got, made. If there was no VAR and the linesman got that wrong and it went 1-1 and then it was 3-2 in the extra time, but, it was a wonderful game. But, but Jim, Simon would say, if my aunt was my uncle, which I always found a curious phrase, but I like it. Yeah. But, 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 but Jim, Danny... You're, you're saying potato, potato. You're, you're trying to... You're four just... words. They got it right. VAR got it. it Leicester yeah. won the cup. Yeah. So? What's Chelsea's goal shouldn't have stood. Yeah. And it didn't. But if there'd been no VAR... Chelsea might have been given an equal. Might you know, have. Uh, but he just, he just turned around to you and said that on the bulk of the time, the linesman will get it right anyway. Yeah. So, that, so we're, we're arguing against ourselves. But the argument that you're advancing is why is making much, much noise about it? Because there aren't talk shows for rugby and there aren't talk shows for tennis and there aren't talk shows for cricket and there isn't this downward pressure from managers standing on touchlines of all these sports being disrespectful to the support, the support they're supposed to be respectful towards. Every manager goes out on television and bitches and moans about everything that doesn't go his way. Yeah. That's why we've got VAR. We're going to take some calls in a second 
Vernon. Vernon. Vernon's waiting to come on. But Vernon, before you come on, Peter Chelsea Walton Vernon. this morning. <laughs> Peter Walton this morning in the in the Times. VAR was introduced for the big decisions in the big games, and we saw that in operation on Saturday. Love it or hate it, the technology allowed the referee to come to the correct decision in a massive game, and that is exactly why it's there. Peter, I couldn't say it better myself, but I have just said it. Vernon, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Jim. Good morning, boys. Good, good morning. morning, Vernon. Yeah, Chelsea fan. A, How are you feeling? It's a, uh, well, I don't like VAR anyway. I think, to, my, to my mind, it diminished my enjoyment of all football, never mind watching Chelsea. And that's nothing to do with Saturday. Mm. I mean, I've spoke to you, uh, Danny, before about this. I know yeah. he hates VAR like me. Um, it's alarming, I suppose, that you sort of married to people like uh, the idea that people like Peter Walton and David Ellery. It doesn't surprise me that Peter Walton and uh, thinks that VAR is a fantastic thing and done a great job. That's the alarming thing about it. It's sort of thing splits football fans. Um, but, you know, David Ellery and uh, Kalina have tried to unify the law so much. Like they tried it with handball. They're doing it with this ridiculous line drawing. Um, it's not in the spirit of the game, Jim. And it, it really worries me, actually, that somebody like you, who is a football fan yourself and have been to matches and maybe have paid for a ticket, um, are sat there and when a, when a magic moment like that goes in, when, a, when you have a score an equaliser, as a football fan, when you go as a child, you soon learn that the first thing you do is in a millisecond glance at the linesman flag, mm. and you glance at the referee and you see in uniform that the referee's arm is pointing back towards the centre circle and that the linesman flag is firmly down and it's a goal. And that's it. Then you, in that split second, you, everything goes. You, you get a rush of euphoria. Mm. That you can't explain to anybody who doesn't know football. You can't explain it. And you, you jump up and down. You kiss strangers. Uh, the players, uh, for once, uh, they, that shows their real team, like Chelsea's players. They're jumping on each other. They were so elated. You can't buy that. And all of a sudden, they're back to kick off for the next you know, minute. And all of a sudden, hang on, VAR checking. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, Chilwell's left shoulder blades offside from 30 yards out oh it's not a goal mm. um, Vernon I, I, I know what you're saying but yeah. what, what, two things I would say number one was it the correct decision no it's not in the law of football they may be with Ellery's uh, and Chilina's uh, new re- rewriting of the rules a hundred years ago they didn't have this thing they they said offside you know if you're on but, if you're but, level now we say but Vernon like, it was getting, brought in you know, to your, clear up situations no, like the one at no, Wembley no, in the closing no, the stages law, of the match at the weekend the law, the law is wrong Jim. what they did you think change. of the drama though I know you're looking at it from a Chelsea perspective no, the goals it's, it's awarded to Chelsea and then Chelsea are celebrating yeah che- we, we see shots to the supporters they're celebrating yeah disallowed yeah, exactly. because just, b- because oh, it was you, no goal flip oh. it Leicester fans that, that, celebrated. Jim, I'll, I'll it was incredible. It's not football. It's not organic. It's not and, and you're talking about very rare moments in, in where VAR... Right or wrong decision? It depends how you right. look at it. It depends how you look. It Should depends the goal have stood? But why are we having... Every other country around the world is embracing VAR. It's not relevant. But hold on. It's entirely relevant. No, it's I mean, not. Every, just, because, just because you don't... I owned a football club and watched football on a weekly basis and I was a campaigner in 2006. I wrote an article about technology being involved in the sport. It's not funny. Jumpers for goalposts isn't funny. The reasons why we have a situation where VR has been brought in is because I don't think it's great to listen to managers complain week in week, slaughter referees. Yeah, but we've talked about that. Yeah. The fact is but that's that the you, learn, it, you learn by trying something and realising it doesn't work. This incarnation of VAR isn't good enough. But VAR as a protocol and a principle is the way that things should go. But this current incarnation that's killing certain aspects of the game yeah. needs to be adapted. However, but you the principle deli- isn't wrong, Danny. However you deliver VAR, however you interpret it and deliver it, yep. however you make the rules up, yep. you are you are fundamentally losing what football is. And the reason the reason you're losing is is what he said there is the euphoric moments of when goals go in. You, what you have now is a situation where players and supporters are not celebrating goals organically and naturally like we used to. Those moments I lived for playing yep. and I lived for as a fan and the reason mm. I loved going to football mm. with my old man on the cot watching Liverpool was the goals, the moments. Now Wait, what you're getting, you're getting players doing... Jim, let me finish. We'll get, you that, you say. we'll get that, Dan. Well, we'll if you love that. football, why are you even trying if you love because, football? Because we're looking, You've forgotten because, where you because, come because, from. No, because we've sat here and I've sat here watching players, come on, about integrity, watching players cheat and simulate and yeah, con referees so what? and pundits and, and the managers... 
let the ref deal with it. piling in and going, referees getting death threats, people not being good enough for their jobs because they're not accepting their mistakes. So here we are now being careful what we wish for. All of this vile and bile over the years mm. piles onto the officials has brought about... Oh, did ums, though. What, like you paid to do Did a fan. Yeah, you're supposed, okay. to, you're supposed to. So do when people criticise people, people people are doing just, your job. Well, there's a balance between criticising somebody and making it practically impossible for them to work in the environment. We've got when has that happened? We've got broadcasters that when are focusing that on one referee has been we've, got, we've got broadcasters that are focusing on the way that football is shown, right, to such a level that it makes the referee's job almost impossible. So the next evolution was going to have to be to be able to try to change how referees make decisions. Give them and some this, help, this, yeah. this incarnation isn't right but right. technology being involved in sport the principle is right. of it is the, right exactly. I'm okay I'm okay, right. I'm okay I'm okay and incidentally one referee threatened is one too many yes but unfortunately Jim the way the world is football is one of the most popular sports if not the most popular sport in the world I know. it's very passionate so it's live tribal with this thing. and occasionally live you're going to get Live, live with it. I do it's right. With, I do it live got with, the decision right. Jim, I live the with FA it. Cup final. I live with it. I don't have to there like it. There was serious it. euphoria. There was jubilation. There was dancing and as singing. A, as a one-off. How many times have we sat on this show and looked Simon's at goals? Right. But and it's you keep current incarnation. Because it doesn't suit your argument. No, no, no. Well, no, no. People. Just because you can, just because you, do, I acknowledge your argument, but also by the same token, there are there are counterparts to this argument which give you context about Correct. why this argument is relevant as well. But we've so heard them. We all know about the, the emotion, but we also know about the reaction to mistakes that are being made endlessly and people not prepared to accept mistakes. So what's the alternative then? Managers sitting there bitching and moaning and players having excuses. And, what was the alternative then? Just allow that to carry on. Because What's the point can? of having a mind if you're not allowed to change it? Whoa, Murphy! <laughs> with a strong backhand down the winning line. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.